Well, good morning, everybody. Just got back from an air gun hunt out in the backyard doing a nuisance job on these squirrels. But today I wanted to show you a quick little trick on how to skin a squirrel with a bowie knife. Let's get started. So the two things that I have on me right now is this big old bowie knife. You're probably wondering why in the world am I using this, but trust me, I have a reason. And uh, then I have a normal skinning knife on me. To make the job really fast, you need a big uh, knife uh, that you're gonna need for this little trick. I like to either use a hatchet or a bowie knife, uh, but today I got the bowie knife on me, so we're gonna be just using this. All right, so first off, we are gonna take off all of the joints on the squirrel. So basically what we're gonna do is just grab this squirrel. Number one tip I do is that you take your time. Do not rush, you took this animal's life and it's your job to take care of it. So we're just taking off all these joints here. Front paw, back paw, find the joint, chop it off. So we took off all of the joints on the squirrel. Now I wanna preserve the tail also, so I'm gonna be super careful with this part. Just hold these back, two legs back. There we go. So I'm gonna skin the tail out. We're going to save that for later. I might save that for a future video. So the only thing that's actually really left is the head. You can either leave the head on or not. It doesn't really matter. For now, I'm actually going to take the head off. Now we have a nice body left for our uh, meat here. Now I'm going to take out my skinning knife. And I'm just going to grab the scruff right here. And make sure that I don't puncture the meat, just the skin. Just want to make sure that I get the skin here. Take your time. And then you should get to this tiny little white part here. I don't think I have a... Eh, that hole's alright. I'm going to make a little bit more of an incision here. You're going to get this tiny little white under skin here. And you're going to take your fingers right under. If you need to make the hole a little bit bigger, make the hole a little bit bigger. You're going to take the skin... And what we're going to do is that we're going to put our fingers under and we're just going to rip this guy back. Now, this guy has been sitting out for a while, so it actually did not go all the way. So what I'm going to show you here is this super really cool little trick is to pop. See, look, we almost got done here. So what we're doing is that we're trying to find the shoulder bone on the squirrel. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna take this, we're gonna pop the shoulder bone in, and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna find this little piece. See, this is the shoulder here, and you have to cut that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our knife right along the skin here. Sometimes it can get tricky, on trying to find where the arm is and everything else like that. But trust me, you get used to it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna peel all that off. Took that all that off. Now you have your first part of your squirrel is done. And then come back here. If it's just not working for you, no big deal. Take the under skin, get your knife, and just cut right along the skin, there's a tiny little layer of tissue. It's kind of like white. There's kind of like a white tissue almost. And it just comes right off. So at this spot, it tends to happen a lot. The testa starts to come out. So what we're actually going to do is take our fingers, just pull all of that out. So once that has happened, come back over here. Now once you get to the leg of the animal, you're going to be able to get both of your thumbs in and actually take it, pull both against each other, and then your leg should pop right off. And we're gonna do the same with the other side. Now the rest is easy. You just carve, just make sure that you got all the intestine out and everything else like that. I'm just gonna cut everything right off. All right, everybody. We just got ourselves a fresh, ready to cook, squirrel there is some fur on this i have to say uh but i only thing you need to do is just wash it off in the sink or something like that and that's about it but there you go everybody there's how to skin a squirrel with bowie knife 
and a skinning knife. There you go, everybody. That's how you skin a squirrel with a bowie knife and a skinning knife. I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to get this guy in the freezer and uh, either use him for uh, cooking or use him for bait for predators. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Till then, I'll see you all next time.